over it. This is even less visually pleasing than the last thing. But oh, oh, screen, why? Yeah, I think it's with a monitor. A lot, yeah. of, a lot, of, a lot of these TVs tend to do uh, yeah. center thing. Someone needs to press the fix yourself button on it, I guess. But whatever, those characters don't mean anything. Um, so I got a bee in my bonnet about the flat FS thing and hoping that the performance for that could be better. Um, but first, I want to know how fast it can really go. So I wrote some very meta benchmarks and um, this is meant to be a blind uh, research benchmark which is not benchmarking our existing code because that is complicated for various reasons and gets caught up on a bunch of other details that are irrelevant and I just want to know how fast does my file system go flat out and so to accomplish this I'm going for kind of the sidetrack of a product that is not production code again kind of a similar thought to the RFC thread and so I wrote a new main method, and I'm trying to just brutalize the file system and see how it takes it. And so this is a ton of information that comes out, and I have not put these into a nice graph yet, but the kind of thing that I want to get out is like, okay, with this many files and zero sharding, indexing into the random things takes yay many microseconds. Um, with like two characters of sharding, it actually gets worse, but this is with a tiny number of files, right? So we need to look at these graphs with four times as many files and four times as many files again. And at some point, we hit a point of inflection where, like, sharding two characters is an obvious win. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of want to ask, what if we shard by two characters and two characters? Is there a point of inflection where that's going to make sense? And the answer is, eh, it's, it's still running. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so like, we'll see. <laughs> uh, that's it. I hope to make a PR out of this too, and then figure out how to graph it better so it's actually not a wall of text. But It would be great to have um, these kinds of benchmarks in ways that can be run against other data stores. So like, it'd be great to be able to compare this, say, against that or anything like that. We have an OKR for that. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. trickier yeah. because it's less obvious to compare, but like, yeah. This is literally just like how fast can you drive your file system, and with these, that can be a bomb. Right, exactly. Um, and the answer is like, ah. uh, this is also. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've run this uh, in two different file systems already because my slash on this computer is ext4, and it is now not running on that. Fun story, I made a mistake yesterday. Slash temp is where one runs benchmarks, right? And slash home. If that's on the same file system and you run out of inodes, you're going to learn some things that don't work well when you run out of inodes. <laughs> uh, so now these benchmarks are running on um, one of my ZFS partitions, and the behavior of some things is unsurprisingly maybe, but it's like radically different. So the, the old end on some of these operations is just not the same. Um, also, the kernel syscalls for things like Hey directory, tell me how big you are. Um, on ext4, that tells you how many bytes are in all of the structures for directory entries. And in ZFS, it tells you how many entries there are, which are totally not the same thing at all. Like, not the same number of zeros, not the same semantics. So that's a cool thing to be aware of. And uh, I'm going to write some probably experience reports. <laughs> <laughs> the articles for UXFS is directories don't have sizes, go away. Yeah. Uh, so, that's what I learned so far. I hope that's interesting. It is. Talk to me more later. That's all I got. All right. I have you. showed you what I got. <laughs>